Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode. If you're new, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every Monday and Thursday teaching you to learn to love yourself, flaws and all, trust your intuition and to manifest your heart's true desires. Now this series, Weekly Angel Guidance, is all about trusting your intuition and learning to navigate through these beautiful energies that we're experiencing as we've just started eclipse season. If you haven't already checked out my solar eclipse new moon in cancer episode, I highly recommend that you check that out first. I'll give you some context into the energies in which we are experiencing. So this week we're going to be going through two phases of the moon. The first one is going to be the crescent moon, which is asking us to refine our intentions and allow the universe to guide us. This is beautiful. If you caught my live Q&A tea time, which was on Saturday on my YouTube channel, it was an hour of delicious goodness chatting to you guys, which are, I just have to say literally made my day. So thank you so much if you took the time out of your day to join me for that live. We went through um, a Q&A tea time, which was fabulous. And then after that, I did a meditation session where I set you up to help visualize what do you want to manifest um, over the next six months, but in particular, what do you want to manifest for this month and what are the emotions associated with what you want? Um, and then everyone wrote in the chat what they're manifesting and it literally blew me away. I, oh, you have to check my highlights on my Instagram story under live um, because I had my two favorites on there, which was just incredible. So you need to be able to set your intentions, be able to then go through the rest of this week because if you haven't set your intentions, you won't be able to refine exactly what you want because that's gonna be very difficult moving forward. So if you haven't already checked that out, stop this video right now and go and catch up. So this is gonna be going on to Monday. So this is the crescent moon, so we're ref refining exactly what we want. In this stage, it's where I literally write down what are the steps that I need to take in order to achieve my goals? Because on Friday, we move into the first quarter of the moon. This is the action stage, which asks us to take inspired action and allow it to flow with ease. If it's not flowing with ease, then there's something that we may need to refine. So these are the two phases of the moon, which is so exciting. So today I'm gonna to give you a general reading using my Shadowscape Tarot. So just take from this reading what feels best for you. This could be lots of cards or this could be just one. But we are in the solar eclipse, new moon in Cancer energy. This is a very emotional time. I literally, I didn't even know if I'd be able to film this video. I just got off on a very healing call for about an hour where I said everything that I wanted to say and I, I've done it two days in a row saying a lot of things that I haven't had the courage to say but I stepped into my power and I said, you know, this, I feel this and that, oh, honestly, it was amazing. So if you have been crying and you have been dealing with contrast and you have been healing, I am so proud of you. I am so proud that you have gotten to this stage where you want to let go and you want to speak from the heart because that is truly in alignment with your highest good. And that's where all the delicious goodness starts to transpire. So without further ado, Oh, I also have my amethyst crystal so I can channel my intuition and I have this beautiful gift here which came from one of my viewers. This is from Harmony from the Hippies Homestead. Oh, let's put this up here. She's just beautiful. She sent me this and it has a little rose quartz here. So I have this on my table, but if you caught my live, you would have seen this as well. So I've just got this next to me as I channel all of this delicious goodness. No matter where you are on your journey or what has happened to the point in which, you know, you're watching this today, I want you to breathe in through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and again, breathe in, exhale. All right, my loves, this is going to be a beautiful week. Let's see what our angels want us to know for the week ahead. All right, angels. Oh, what week is this? Oh, July 16th to the 22nd. Okay, the first card that came out is the Six of Pentacles. Can you see the guy that is sitting up the top? 
and he's just like in his own little world but he doesn't see this abundance that is forming down below ooh that's interesting he's just in his own little world but he, he's not looking down but there's new abundance that's like spurting up I feel this new abundance is whatever you're working on it's like maybe you're not seeing things clearly or then I heard I can see clearly now the rain has gone it's gonna be a bright 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 sunshiny day why did I hear that but this is this new abundance that's coming forth so what comes up for you when you see this card right here I think this is beautiful this is abundance there is abundance that is coming to you maybe oh it's like we've been planting the seeds well we've spoken about this last week actually it's like we have been planting the seeds for like six months but it wasn't really the right time to start and now we are starting and we're starting to you know plant the seeds it's like you have the seeds but before you hadn't planted them and now you're going to start planting the seeds and this is fertile soil this is beautiful it's going to grow you have to water it you can't neglect it you have to keep putting in the work that you have been putting don't think because you've just I don't think you've kind of neglected I just feel like you have to keep doing what you're doing and you're going to see more and more and more results as you go as you progress forward all right six of pentacles what a beautiful card this can be also abundance in whatever shape or form this is for you this is this new abundance that's coming through but you have to be open to receive it if there's fear and negativity coming up you will you will be this dude sitting up the top you won't even see the abundance that is down below or maybe the but this stuff that's squirting down it's like you haven't seen it yet but you feel it like you know that it is coming that could also be what that one is too wow there's lots of goodness coming what do we need to know Okay, this card that I saw is, I got two cards, is the, the Knight of Pentacles. I actually pulled this for one of you guys in my live reading. The Knight of Pentacles. This is, the Knight is like on a mission. It's like, do not get in my way. I'm going to, I'm going to receive this abundance and it is coming. Maybe, I feel like he's on a mission to get a different level of this abundance because the Knight is further up. In the pentacles after the knight it's like queen and king or is it ace I don't know but he's quite high up it's like he's done a lot of work and the abundance is coming you're on the right path you're on this quest this unwavering quest to your highest good and it's so delicious Ooh, okay then this card is the four of cups I think this is the week where I release um, I think the name of the video was mirror work um reflection change i think it was um when will my reflection show who i am inside i think this is like don't give up don't give up i'm hearing so many songs oh my god i can't keep up with it okay so the abundance is coming i feel like if something comes up that kind of I feel like this is the reflection isn't matched yet I feel like this is kind of you getting a little bit like disheartened but you don't need to worry about that because everything is working out you have to keep doing what you're doing because you are on the right path I'm not too sure which cards match in with the refining sage or the action I feel like the four of cups is more linked to like the action stage because I feel like as you take action you're going to become a little bit disheartened I don't know let's get clarity on that so we've got six of Pentacles knight of Pentacles and four of cups four is the emotion it's the stability maybe you're not feeling secure in your emotions or you're experiencing emotions that you had previously but you're not where you want to be but you know what is coming for you but you just have to work through this ain't nothing gonna break my stride ain't nothing gonna slow me down Ooh, okay ain't nothing gonna break my stride all right because like you have to wade out the bullshit you know you've 
I feel like this is going to come in the action stage and things aren't going to really aren't turning out the way that you had expected but it's divinely orchestrated so you have to feel whatever is coming up and allow yourself to feel those emotions so you can release it and then you can literally set yourself free but this is like being torn um, I feel like this is like the mats being taken away from you this is a, there's a, a moon here too which looks like a crescent moon which maybe this is meant to be the crescent stage Maybe I'm still reading for the crescent stage. You see there's like a crescent moon down the bottom here? It's like, this is all about, um, what do I call them? Like challenges, there can be challenges that are gonna come your way and you're gonna feel like you've been taken one direction and then another one, but this has to happen because maybe there are things that you need to address so you can move forward and you can bloom and you can grow on this new path. I just feel like this, there's, there's things that are gonna come up but it is divinely orchestrated. You have to feel this. You know, you're not going to get to where you want and it's gonna be a smooth ride, there are going to be detours and detours are fabulous because detours teach us they're like a mirror to us and they showed us the unhealed wounds that need our attention so we can address them and we can say thank you thank you thank you I surrender to the process I set myself free and I will learn from this lesson because if you don't you're going to be constantly caught up in this you don't want to be at that stage you want to be able to keep growing and this when things break you down they're an opportunity to grow. I feel like don't get disheartened. You're on the right track. You have to you have to face these demons. You need to face these challenges. And they're going to make you stronger. I just feel like this is a good thing. Even though initially you're like, why is this happening? I can't do this anymore. It's like, okay, breathe. Do your self-love practices and just know that the universe is taking you to exactly where you want. It's not looking the way that you wanted it to, but surrender to the process. The path in which you are going is divinely orchestrated. You have to learn something so then you can get back on track. Whoa. What else do we need to know? So there's challenges that are going to come up. Challenge is good. So maybe it's gonna. Well, I pulled this card in the live as well. This is the Eight of Pentacles. This is like you have worked hard. You have captured your prey. You have. Um, it's like a spider collecting its insects, and it's like he's done a lot of hard work. And I feel like this hard work is you releasing your blockages and it's like you're tying up all the loose ends and you're making peace with those situations that cause you deep hurt. Some of you even deep emotional trauma that you've been holding on to for like tens of years. Um, so there's eight of them. So there could be eight equals abundance. Pentacles is abundance. So this is like, this is lots of abundance that is coming your way. This is like you've worked so hard to get to where you are. And it's like sometimes you're going to be around people that are lower frequency to you, like a lower vibration. And don't lower your own vibration to fit in or to be around people um, either from your past who knew you a certain way and don't aren't really open or um, aren't really open or receptive to the person that you now are. Don't dull your light to fit in. You have to shine bright. Like Rihanna says, shine bright like a diamond. Um, you have to, you need to stay bright. Don't dim your light for other people because the right people are on their way to you. Ooh, this is amazing. What do you see when you see this card right here? Oh, wow. Okay. What else do we need to know? need to know angels. Oh, I missed that like two times. Hold on. What do we need to know? What do my MK love fan need to know for this week? July 16th to the 22nd. 
Okay, thank you very much. Oh, the Nine of Cups. Oh, you're just going with the flow of emotions. It's like you're not wavering in your path. You're on this quest and any emotion that you're feeling, you are so grateful because these emotions that you're feeling are telling you where you are in terms of the emotional guidance scale. Are you vibrating on the frequency of love? Are you in fear and depression? You know, where are you at? I don't feel like you're at fear and depression. I feel like you got maybe a little bit overwhelmed or disheartened or kind of like frankly pissed off. And it's like, how dare you say that to me? Or how dare you speak to me like that? Um, or you'd be like, why the heck is this happening? Why didn't that work out? I had everything lined up and then it was all taken away from me just before I signed the contract. Um, but this is like, you are on a journey. You are, you're conquering your emotions. This is like you riding the wave. Like you're a horse riding the waves. You're riding through. It's like, it's so magical. It's so beautiful. And it's a unicorn and the unicorn's going straight to this beautiful cup. And it's like, this cup is just pure positive energy. This cup is like a balanced emotions. This cup is, This cup represents so much. I think that's why it's like a massive feature here. This cup is like all of the work that you have been doing for such a long time. And it's like, you know, I feel like going back to this one saying like, this is your vibration and how hard you have worked. And it's not, and you're not allowing yourself to get caught up in the nitty gritty of what had been or what has just happened. You're just, you're going with the flow and your emotions are guiding you to where you need to go. And if you feel pain and you're upset, cry. Write it down on a piece of paper. Literally journal until your hand stops writing. Or put your timer on for five minutes and 55 seconds, or 11 minutes and 11 seconds, whatever level you're at, and just keep writing. And when you have nothing else to write, close it, breathe in, exhale all the bullshit, and you're like, I feel so much better. I don't know where all that just came from, but I'm getting super hot under all of these lights. Do you believe it's winter in Australia and I'm just wearing like a summer dress? Yep. And it was cold this morning, I was in my dressing gown. I was so close to doing the live in my dressing gown. I'm like, would that be appropriate? Totally, it's a live. But I knew I had to film Weekly Angel Guidance after. Hold on, I just dropped one. Oh my goodness, we got the Nine of Pentacles. This is like, a, this is like, this is you like being unwavering. You're just, you're a beautiful piano and you've just allowed, it's like, I see it as like, you're so strong in your foundations that no matter what comes up, you're gonna continue to shine. I'm gonna give myself permission to shine. I'm gonna shine so bright. Da -da -da -da. That's from Bachelor Girl. She just released a new song actually, and I think I added it to one of our Spotify playlists. But this is you like singing. This is you like not even giving a crap about what, what what's going on for anybody else. You're just doing you. You're doing what makes you feel so amazing. And you're just looking at this beautiful, what is that thing? It's like a um, stained glass window with a star. Oh, because we had the star recently. Remember I always sing, when you wish upon a star, it don't matter who you are. I can never get that last note. It's, I think this is you like following the star, your wish, your intentions. You've like, you visualize it in your mind and you know you're gonna get everything you have ever wanted. And you know that this contrast is gonna come up and you're gonna be like, oh God, what's happening? But your angels are saying, hold on. Hold on, there is so much abundance here. Guys, we've had six of pentacles, knight of pentacles, eight of pentacles, and now nine of pentacles. Like there's a lot of abundance here. And I feel like this is you just being like so strong and so grounded. And you've done that from all of your work. This is all of the work you have been doing, both emotionally, physically. I don't know where you have, where you're now living. And you're just, staying so strong no matter what's going on around you externally you're just like i am amazing everything's working out yeah it's taking maybe a little bit longer than i thought or you know i'm taking a couple of details but i know i'm destined for greatness i know i'm on the right track because baby i was born this way 
Baby, I was born this way. Yes. I, I just see this as beautiful. It's like you're not wavering. You're following the star. The star is your intuition. It's your higher self. It's this inner knowing, just knowing that it doesn't matter what external... I just feel like there's lots of noise going on around you and I feel like you're not like... You've got like your blinkers on and you've got tunnel vision and I'm like, this is where I need to go. You may, a lot of people may not understand it or agree with it or accept it, but you don't care because you know you are destined for greatness. You know you're going to find that beautiful partner. You know you're going to start that fabulous business. You know you're going to get that hot, sexy, strong, beautiful body. And you know that you're going to live in this beautiful house. You know that you're going to be able to have money to travel. You know you're going to become this beautiful mother. You know that this is going to happen. So this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. One last card. What else do we need to know? Because my camera is flashing. <laughs> oh gosh, it's been a crazy morning. What else do we need to know, angels? One card or maybe two. What do we need to know to finish off this beautiful week? about taking action and revising, refining everything we need to know. Oh, one card. In five, four, three, two. Thanks, I'm a bit slow. What is this one about? Oh, the wheel of fortune. This is like karma. This is all of your beautiful karma. This is like all your dreams and wishes are coming true. You're taking action towards your dreams. They are coming because we are in the action stage of the moon. So this one here, it's like, have a look down the bottom of that card here. Like this is so beautiful. It's like all of these beautiful flowers are just blooming and they're just incredible. And it's, you're literally becoming the person that you have always wanted to be. And all of the work that you have been doing, it's like this is your time to really like shine. I feel like this is really, really beautiful. And I love that you've been guided by the moon up the top here. It's like the moon you have like, it's like you have seen the darkness, but now you're coming into bloom and you have worked through all the different phases of the moons or think of it like the different um, the seasons, like we've got four different seasons, you have been going through and progressing and each different phase like or season you have learned something new and it has helped sculpt who you are now becoming which is just absolutely amazing. So let's get clarity. So, so far we have the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Ten of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles and Wheel of Fortune. So I forgot to say here that the Wheel of Fortune here is a major arcana. Like this is just amazing. This is massive life transformation. And I'm pretty sure that we actually had this last week on Weekly Angel Guidance, which is just incredible. So let's just see what else we need to know. What do we need to know, angels? Whoa. Okay, so there was two cards that came. One went to the back and one went to the front. I'm going to read the back one first. Whoa, the four of wands. This is amazing. Four is like stability is coming in this new passion project that you're working on. Have a look at the flowers down the bottom of that card and have a look at the flowers that are blooming in this card. The stability is coming. You can see it in both of these pictures here. It's coming. Oh, this is like peaceful. This is like nurturing. And this card, we have the sun. So this one, we have the moon. It's like we're, we're, we're thriving by both in darkness and in light. So that's like we're thriving both in positive and negative situations because we have been doing the work. We have worked out the self-love practices that make us feel amazing and allow us to cope with contrast. Okay, so that one came to the back. Let me read the one that came to the front. The sun. Oh, this is beautiful. You're shining bright. You're, you're just becoming illuminated. Maybe the darkness is, is gone and now the universe is illuminating its bright light onto the area which was, which you, which was always, which always had darkness. And it's like, you've come out of this darkness and it's like, you, the sun is just, 
Oh, this is so good. This is another major arcana. I just feel like the sun is... I just feel like the sun is, is shining a light. I think of this, this card as like a spotlight on your success. I feel like this is a spotlight. Whoa, so many cards. So many cards. I'm just trying to gather myself right here, but I just feel like there's just a lot going on. I feel like the t this card and this card is like what you really need to work towards, what work with the energies of the contrast and putting in the right strategies so you don't fall victim to how you used to be or how you used to react because you are not the per same person that you were when this contrast struck you in the past or previously, you're a different person now. And I feel like everything that you have been working on and working towards it's bringing you success. It's going to be creating stability. It's going to be creating st stability that is so deeply rooted. This is setting you up for long-term success. This is not just like a, like think of it like a one night stand kind of energy. This is like, this is gonna be here to stay for a long time. <sighs> wow, I wasn't expecting that. I love this. So we're refining this week, so from Monday, let me give you a quick little recap. So from Monday, we're refining our intentions. What were your intentions that you set on the solar eclipse new moon in Cancer? Go back and check out my live, my live um, Q&A tea time and new moon intention setting workshop. Go back and revisit what were your intentions? What was the feeling? And like what what was the feeling you want to experience and then what is the intention because those two married together is like an unstoppable force because once you once you get so clear on exactly what you want you can start planning your your steps of attack just planning so from Monday this is a week that we're going to be planning everything that we're going to tackle so literally getting your calendar out and saying okay on this day I'm going to be focusing on this aspect on this day I'm focusing on this part of it um, and then Friday holy heck Friday is the action stage of the moon this is when we're taking inspired action and allow it to flow with ease if you're on the right track you know, you could be, if, like for me, when I was launching my business, melaniekatelove.com, I think in like October last year, I sometimes would get on such a roll of creativity that I'm staying up to like 1 a.m. just in the zone and not even knowing what the time is, but getting so, like taking so much inspired action and it just flowed. So I just kept going with it, um, which was amazing. And... Yeah, this is this is deeply rooted success. This is you being set up for just just beautiful. I just think this is beautiful whatever you're working on. Please comment below and let me know what you are working on because I would love to hear from you. And as always, I'm going to be responding to your comments for the first hour this video is live. So that's from 7 a.m. till 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And yeah, I can't wait to chat with you. I can't wait to see, to hear about like, what are the steps, like what literally are the steps you were taking? Have you actually thought about this before? Or have you just kind of like, oh yeah, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Holy shit, my to-do list is so long. Because when you're in the refining stage, maybe you'll be like, oh my God, I can't get all of this done in one month. There's no way I can do it. And maybe at the refining stage, you go like, oh, Maybe I'm just going to focus on this aspect. Like if you want to launch a business, what aspect of this business are you going to be working on this, this month? Is this aspect going to be working on finding the right pitches and the right platform and taking the right pitches to set up your website? You know, like it just depends where you're at. If this is you in terms of like, um, manifesting a new partner or a deep level of commitment with your partner, um, what are you working on? If you're planning a wedding, what aspect? You're not going to plan a whole wedding in a month. Well, you possibly could if you want to elope and that totally floats your boat. It just depends. Do you want to work out, okay, I want to work out um, a venue and I want to work out guest lists and I don't know what else you meant to plan. <laughs> 
um, I don't know what what feels best for you because that's what you need to really refine and this is this phase where it's really gonna help clarify if this is something that you want to take inspired action on or if what you're actually wanting to manifest is gonna be too much I know a lot of you said from oh I haven't got it up here from my live a lot of you said that you're manifesting more self-love like what steps are you gonna take towards this is this self-love in terms of like nourishing your body with high vibrational food or is this self-love in terms of exercising your body going to yoga going for a run going for a swim or even just taking your shoes off and walking in nature like what does that look like for you you have to really nut out exactly what you're going to do so from monday to thursday you have to get really specific and plan out your month then on Friday, you're going to start taking the actions, like what have you planned to do? Make sure you're giving yourself time to relax and, you know, find your balance, put in your self-love practices. Um, yeah, however that looks like for you. But yeah, my loves, beautiful week, beautiful week. Just feel the emotions because this is um, Cancerian energy. This is the crab, the hard exterior and the soft interior. You know, but the crab can be both on land and water. So it's like finding the balance in what you're cultivating. Oh my gosh, my loves. Have an amazing week wherever you are in the world. And if you have made it through to this far in the video, can you type into the comments, cultivating lifelong success? Can you type that in the comments? cultivating lifelong success because that would be absolutely amazing anyways my love i hope this helps you out and yeah without further ado i will talk to you in the comments so have an amazing day wherever you're in the world i love you i love you goodbye